The report by the Sugar Directorate comes at a time when investigations are ongoing into the substandard imported sugar that has flooded the Kenyan market to the detriment of indigenous local millers, some of whom are said to have participated in the process. Though there has been a steady increase in production in the last 10 months, since August 2017, the Sugar Directorate says Nzoya, West Kenya, Butali, Sukari and Kuali Sugar Factories all recorded improved performance as production rose 18 percent from 185,879 tons during the same period last year. However, there was a reduction in May at 27,517 metric tons compared to 55,494 metric tons attained in January 2018. During the first five months of this year, most of the sugar factories operated below 50% of their installed crushing capacity as a result of cane shortage, challenges in importation due to heavy rains, annual maintenance and farmers' refusal to deliver cane to Mumia's sugar over debt. Total sugar sales between January and May surged 13% to 211,000 595 tons compared to 185,815 tons fueled by higher demand. Importation of sugar eased prices for consumers as retail sugar prices started the year 2018 at a monthly average of 107 shillings and decreased to an average price of 101 shillings per kilo in May 2018. The price range in May 2018 was between 77 shillings and 135 shillings per kilo according to the sugar directorate. Similarly, buying a kilogram of loose sugar was 16 shillings cheaper compared to branded sugar which averaged 112 shillings per kilo. In the first five months of the year, sugar imports totaled 19,081 tons compared to 30,089 tons imported last year. There was, however, a slight increase in exports which rose to 1,020.7 tons against 146 tons exported last year. Nonetheless, imports continued to hamper sale of locally produced sugar as local millers held 17,222 tons in closing stock vis-à-vis -vis 1,925 tons observed in the same period last year. Kuala International Sugar Company accounted for the biggest portion at 75% of the total sugar stock. Ronald Willey, Business Defined.